Hello there, YouTubeaholics. Welcome to Biotechnica's YouTube channel. And today we are talking about the most important pointer, most talked about and most asked question. What type of jobs we can get in the biotech and pharma sector? Well, truth be told, 99% of the people will tell you that there is no scope, no future, because in the absence of a clear cut direction, we all feel like there is no direction, but there must be someone who can show you the direction. So today I am taking this initiative to talk about the types of job in the biotech and pharma sector. Now, very important aspect which you all should know is you cannot get a job in any sector if you don't go in with a positive mindset, which I have always said in all my videos. Now, apart from that, you need to know the direction. So. What kind of directions are there that I will tell you, but you have to choose. So how you have to choose that also I'll tell you at the end and I'll also tell you which job is better and which one you should go for. Okay. So are you ready? Shuru kare? Okay. Let's get started. Welcome back. So now we are going to talk about the types of job in the biotech sector. So the basically I have, um, you know, broadly divided into eight parts, but actually it's more than that. But in my brief time of preparation, I could do it into eight. And these are the ones. So when you are into the biotech sector or of biotech pharma sector, you can get a job in the government. You can also get a private job. You can get, you know, also start a company and get into entrepreneurship. You can also, uh, you know, go for jobs abroad. You can get jobs in the parallel industries or allied industries. You can also work as freelancers and many uh, work from home jobs are also available. And at the end of this video, I'm going to talk about which one is better. So quickly getting started with the government jobs. Okay. Now, what type of job will suit you? That we'll talk at the end. But right now, government job. Okay, so there are four types of government job more or less you can get. One is departmental job like, okay, there is a, um, you know, Ministry of Home Affairs or, you know, there is um, the Department of Biotechnology. So all these kind of departments. So that is where you can get a job as a, you know, analyst or um, more or less it's a, I will not say clerical job, but it's a desk job. Okay, so that's a departmental job. Then you also get academic job like you get uh, a job in as a professor, assistant professor in government universities. For that, you have to write the CSI net and PhD, right? So that's academic job. Then consultant job. So you can you can be a consultant to the government. Okay, it's uh, not you can say really a freelancing job, but you it will have a tenure that you you work as a consultant to the Department of Biotechnology. You work as a consultant to the um, BIRAC or stuff like that. So that's that's one type of job. Then there are temporary contract contractual jobs, which is the easiest to get and are more in number and plenty in number. So there are three types here. So basically, there will be tenure specific like, OK, it is like you are a assistant professor in a uh, government college, but it is only for a tenure. You cannot exceed the tenure. If they don't renew the tenure, you are out and they don't uh, you know, match the UGC level for uh, the salary and they will just give you anything. So that's tenure specific. Then you also have JRF and SRF, which you can do directly by going into the lab. And that's a hands on very good experience. Now, one warning I want to give you, if you are getting a tenure specific job in the government, never ever sit in the hope that one day it will become Sarkari. It may not happen. Okay, many students do that. Many job seekers do that. They take up a tenure specific job thinking that one day it will be, uh, you know, ready for, um, you know, governmentization or, you know, it will become Sarkari. It doesn't happen that way. Okay, it may not happen. So that's one thing we should avoid. Now, JRF and SRF, you can always go directly and get it or you can go th through CSI on it and do your PhD also. So that's the government job thing you have. Now, how do you get in here? There will be various vacancies which you can go on Biotechnica and check out various government jobs are posted here. Now, the next is private job. So under private job, you can get a job in an established company like Torrent or like Biocon or a startup company as small as, you know, a one person company also, you know, nowadays can be there. And then you can get job in private colleges and universities. Now, under established company, you can get a job in formulation and development research and development, QAQC, marketing and sales, 
clinical research, depending on the flavor of the company, you can get a job. So that's established company. Then the startups, you is something wherein you have, you'll have to wear multiple hats. Like you can be the uh, the next person to the founder who also handles sales or who also handles the R and D, who also handles the uh, you know customer support. So that kind of multiple hats. So if you want to maximize your learning experience, joining a startup is the best thing you can do. Uh, but it is very dicey because if startup sh startup shuts down, then your job is gone. But you learn a lot. So that's one thing. The next is, and yes, I would uh, highly recommend anybody to join a startup because startup by day companies uh, offer plethora of opportunities which our established company can never give you because the chances of growth is much higher in a startup company. Now coming to private colleges and universities, you can have teaching jobs or administrative jobs or a mix of two, mix of both. So this is what you get. The salaries and all I have already discussed in the biotech career ladder as well as in the um, you know salary video which I made recently. So you can check out the videos in Biotechnica channel. So this is about private job. Now coming to entrepreneurship, which I am. Now I am biased about this particular uh, profession, but yeah, you can be into manufacturing, like you could be formulating a drug, like how torrent is, or you could be loan license. So you take a license of a pharma company and manufacture and uh, sell it to them and they will market that stuff, like how you know Nestle or others do. Now you could be into R&D research and development, you could be into allied services, okay, some allied services which supports the core biotech company. So you could be a supplier to Biocon. You could be into clinical research. You could be into edu educational technology. That's edtech. So these and there are multiple entrepreneurship avenues available uh, today, given that today is the internet era. So these are the things which you have in government, private, and entrepreneurship. Now let us uh, quickly come to the jobs which you can get abroad. So if you want to get a job abroad, the ideal qualification will be a postdoc, according to me. However, you can still get at a master's level also, depending on what from where you have done your master's. Now, postdoc, you can start with the postdoc, you can be a scientist in the industry or you, know, you could be in the academia as a uh, professor, assistant professor, professor, or you can be entrepreneurship. Now in the US and Europe, the entrepreneurship also is two of two types. One could be funded, one could be uh, funded by VC, another could be funded by the college or the university itself. Okay, so you are a co company, but within the university, the shares are owned by the university, but they fund you, you are the CEO, whatever you are responsible for running the company. So this is something which also is a type of profession. You can get jobs abroad. And then we have jobs in the parallel sector. So there are multiple parallel sectors, like you could be into the food technology, you could be into diagnostics, you could be into education. So these are parallel, like, okay, it's not a core biotech and pharma sector, but it is parallel. Then coming to freelancing. So yeah, a lot of freelancing jobs are getting available. So that could be copywriting, editing, data analyst, and more or less these freelancing jobs are not, um, you know, full-time jobs. They are like at will and uh, they will be work from home jobs. So you will see a overlap between work from home jobs as well as freelancing. So you can have teachings, YouTubing, editing and copywriting. Now one warning for all those people who think, okay, we will go to YouTube and make a lot of money. That's a very wrong notion. It doesn't happen that way. Whatever uh, videos you will make, you will earn pennies and uh, that's not how YouTube works. So if anybody is telling you that fake promise, that's not truth. Nobody can actually earn a lot of money there. Yeah, if you are, you know, making videos for a broad segment and you have say 100 crore subscribers or 10 crore subscribers, maybe you will be making money, but not decent one. So, you know, don't fall into that trap thinking that you, you can be, but yeah, some people do, but exceptions are always there in any industry. So that's where it is. So you have work from home jobs as well. Now, very important and crucial question, which I want to come to, and this is my favorite question is which one among these is better? Okay. So I have two answers for you. The first is passion should be your fashion. Okay. Just cheese ke liya passionate ho, whatever thing you are passionate about, that should be your, you know, first priority. So out of all these lists, you can choose, okay, this is my first priority, second priority, third priority. Okay, so you have three priorities. So this is my first priority. Okay, now the first priority should be something which is, uh, you know, stable as well as uh, meets your financial requirements and at the same time offers you a lot of learning. Okay, the second, uh, so of course the first one should be like, like okay, you're passionate about, like you're passionate about microbiology, you want to become a microbiologist, something like that. Second would be something where, okay, uh, this is a safe bet. If I don't get the first priority, this is a safe bet. And the third will be something, you know, 
temporary or but easy to get so you can always fall back upon while you are just you know trying for this first and second option so now the second part which i want to tell you about which one is better is you look at this i'll come to the government job first so government jobs are stable but they offer less learning the life is can be repetitive uh, depending on the job profile and uh, recurring and it can be at times boring so if you are someone who is dynamic who loves dynamizing dynamism who loves changes every day doing new things every day government jobs are not adventurous okay so you know government wants you to do things their way and you have to follow that way so that's where the government job comes in coming to the private job a lot of learning experience lot of earning experience you know opportunity both will be there okay earning experience a earning opportunity as well as learning opportunity will be there but you have to know this private jobs are not stable not always stable but if you are someone who someone who is passionate about it you can definitely be stable so it's not that okay if you are a mediocre person you, for you even the government job will not be stable okay but for private job it offers you know 100 times more learning opportunity and 100 times more earning opportunity also depending on how you want to proceed so biotech career ladder is the video which you must watch if you want to get into the industry side or the private jobs now coming to entrepreneurship it's risky okay it's risky it involves even more learning than a private job probably uh, because you interact with a lot of people because you're running a company but it is risky you should only get in if you have a sound fund foundation your family can support you not earning anything for like a decade together so that's where entrepreneurship comes in okay and entrepreneurship is prone to economic downturn so that's that's a you know a downside i would say but yeah it's exciting it's adventurous if you are an adventure loving person entrepreneurship should be but at the same time you should have a lot of patience a lot of uh, you know communication skills you have you should have a lot of you know um, ready to learn skills like you should be always ready to learn because entrepreneurship teaches you everything okay now the third point and the last point which i want to make about this video is remember your life is like a onion today at the age of 23 you feel that government job is a safe bet by the time you will turn 28 you will feel like you know industry is better and by the time you will turn 40 you will be like no no a teaching job is better so you know your flavor changes according to your age yeah trust me that happens so uh, you know i would say having a diverse experience is the best okay and uh, you know when you when passion is your fashion then you know you will enjoy you will enjoy your work you will enjoy her uh, uh, whatever you do and life is all about uh, you know enjoying whatever you do because work will work will actually fill in a large part of your life right so it, it will be like 9 hours or 10 hours a day you working right so that's where i think you have to think about this you really want to get into any of these type of jobs passion a must you have to ca calibrate that at the same time you have to look at how sound you, your family condition is if it is not sound then you should get into something which gives you a lot of money for example if you look at in private jobs and uh, if you further go and you get into the sales and marketing that's like highly paying job but it's a pressure job right but fnd rnd is uh, you know core subject you should have knowledge of core subject basics right while in government it's a different uh, flavor so you know you have to choose which flavor you want in your life so like you know we somebody likes chinese somebody uh, likes indian cuisine same way what's your cuisine so let me know in the comment section what type of job you think will suit you and what type of job will not suit you let me know in the comment section and if you have any further questions you know i would love to take them one on one so generally i respond to all the com comments which comes on youtube okay so i'll be personally replying to you so go ahead question uh, all the pointers which i have put forward and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for being a subscriber of biotechnica and if you're not YouTube पर आए हो तो एक बटन दबा दो डजेंट मैटर है ना सो आई सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन टिल देन टेक केयर बाय